beasts are above. Now, pick a card to add to your deck. <clears throat> Wow, lots of interesting stats there. Lightforge, Hearth Arena, and of course the HS Replay drawn win rate stat, I would hope. That would be the only one that would make sense. I'm going to go with Volcano Soar. Keep it up! I'm actually gonna take a look at how they calculate this one moment. I'm interested. And if this is the drawn win rates uh, stat. Oh, it's the deck win rate. That's gotta be it. No, it's not the deck win rate. It is the... Hmm, let me check. Ah, oh, but I'm filtering at only Hunter, so if I don't filter... Looks like it's vaguely a drawn win right stat. Anyways, where was I? I'm gonna be querying uh, Murps and Odwakta. I know what they're gonna say, right? Look at their radio on Romkin and Wild Tamer. It's off the charts. Now my guess is when I ask Wakta and Murps which one they would pick, they'll say Romkin Wild Tamer. Hmm. They also have that volcano sore. That's a nice one to copy. Are we going for value 10? <laughs> Man, I love Headhunters hashing myself. But, oh, I will say one thing that they crash coursed me on. They said that you get offered a lot of two drops in Arena. So, you don't have to pick the two drops. Alright, they suggested Wild Tamer. At least Murps did. I'll go with that. Seems good. Whew. Control Hunter, here I come. Oh man, Desert Spear. I know of its power from Constructed, so... Yeah, it looks good. Womp Womp Pick. 
Hatchling. Stormwind champ. Taking their advice that the 2 mana 3 2 isn't necessary. Sleepy. Get the glacial shard. Ooh, finally time to figure out how good Wasteland Assassin is in Arena. Is it time to figure that out? Nah, I'm just gonna pick Galactic Trailer. Beast. Etc. Etc. You drop two three. Give each player a copy of a random card from their opponent's deck. I like three mana three fours. Really, I do. I think too many Stormwind Champion is too many Stormwind Champion. I'm really surprised by the low uh, win rate number on this Drakari Trickster. I'm going to look this up. How could it possibly have such a low win rate? Uh, small sample size question mark? Blade win rate. Oh, that's the played win rate. Oh, this number means nothing. Or does it? Wait. Why would the play win rate on this card be so low? It's just variance. I see. So this uh this middle number is actually useless. Why would anyone judge a card based off of played win rate? That's terrible. <laughs> it's all about deck win rate. Anyways, that's a lot fewer numbers. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Drakari Trickster here. I like tricking people. I have way too many 7 drops. 3 mana 3 4. 3 mana 3 6 if I use it correctly. Hmm. Just play stuff on curve, I think. Hunters don't have much card draw, so giving each player a card is probably a good thing. Grievous Bite. Never Crusher. Crusher is pretty sweet. I like having some fast answers. This one I think is really close. I'll lean towards Grievous Spite, and I like the tricks. Ooh, another Desert Spear. Bug Collector? Sure. If you control a beast, gain taunt. Well, I'm gonna often control a beast. Dark fin fan, pretty decent with my two desert spear. But let's go with eight eight eight, I suppose. <laughs> Lol, mummy. Oh, well, the apprentice for Boisterous Bard. Boisterous Bard is a little bit better because I have Desert Spear. I think that might be the tiebreak for Boisterous Bard here. Hmm. Hunters tend to have like a proactive opening also. 
Cobalt Apprentice works well with Desert Spear. He has all the minor damage. Hmm. This one just comes down to preference. I think because I have a guy that summons a guy. I'll lean towards that. I also have pretty much all minions so far. Whoa! Hello. Okay, so obviously not Phalaris. Reno Hunter. All I have for duplicate is Desert Spear. That's pretty awesome. And where's the 6 mana 4 6? I like it. Reno Hunter! Desert Spear Synergy. For the 3 mana 3 3 taunt. Blah. And the others suck. More. What? Would I rather have a 4 mana 3 3 taunt? J adjacent Mage? Ancient Mage has Grievous Bite. 3 mana 3 2. Eh, Dread Corsair, I suppose. It's. They're all bad. Maybe I'll get another weapon. Who knows? Wasteland Assassin. Sure, a 5 drop. Crusader versus Disciple. Disciple is always such a pain. I have so many three drops. Definitely Disciple. Explosive shot, I have to imagine. Oh, I see a Basilisk though. And I have Remkin and Wild Tamer. Oh, this is a spicy choice. Let's see, 17 cards in. I have three cards that are two drops. Of which Grievous Bite is not really a two drop. But I have two one drops, so it's like four early game. Which is enough. I was instructed beforehand that, you know, four, one, four early game players were fine, so I imagine that this is enough as is. The question is, do I want the... See a Basilisk, pick a Basilisk theory. I have the Ramkin Wild Tamer. Let's see, other... Oh, that's not a beast. <laughs> of course not. Uh, I have one, two, three beasts so far? I want more beasts. Anyway, I go with the Basilisk. Explosive shot. Hmm, so tempting. I think the Wild Tamer breaks the tie here. Teacher, but I have no spell, so that's just a 4 mana 3 5. In this case, probably Defender then. Oh, Flanking Strike is in the set. That's an insane card. This is a top tier pack. Nesting Rock, Amani Warbear. Yep. Okay, I already picked a Basilisk. I think because I have Reno, I go with the second best. Ooh, that's a tough one. This one I'll quarry them on. No, I'm not gonna bother with them. They're playing games right now. I'm gonna go with the Beetle. Try to draft Singleton pretty much. 
The Reno is some- oh, actually, wait. Quicksand Elemental. What? what am I doing? Quicksand Elemental, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's a card that I thought might make it in the constructed, but... Baited. Spring Paul. Ooh, both are so good. Fungal Mancer is nice with the Desert Spear also. Uh, baited. I'm building my, uh, Highlander deck. Tar Creeper because I already have a Basilisk. Tomb Splatter is kind of nice. Oh, very creepy. Tundra Rhino. Yeah, my curve's looking really good. <laughs> Third Desert Spear. Uh, unleash the Hounds. Eight mana, five, five. I think not. Five mana, three, six. Hmm. Okay, three drops. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not counting the hounds. That's enough three drops. Wandering Monster. I have two pack picks left. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five cards I'd play early. On the four drop side, we have one, two, three, four of them. Shroom Brewer can hit a few things early. I have the three, four, and I have the one, five. Wandering Monster, Shroom Brewer. Huh. I also have to account for the fact that who's going to be hitting who here. Is this an aggressive deck? It seems like I'm going to be playing a mid-range deck that can be aggressive because I can just heal back up with Reno if we decide to trade for face, both of us. So that would imply Wandering Monster is fun since I'm not going to be trading. But I'm not going to be behind because I'm... The problem with Wandering Monster is sometimes, you know, they don't hit your face because they're hitting your stuff. And I've got all the stuff to trade with the Desert Spear. I think it's Shroom Brewer. Another Monty War Bear. Last pick. Yeah, I'm gonna query these guys on this. Uh, 30th pick I have as Hunter. Two one drops. Three, two drops. One, four, two drops. One of which is Grievous Bite. Pick a vanilla two, two, three, or a Mani Warbear. Wait, I already have an Amani Warbear. I don't need to type this. <laughs> That's a beast. I think in this case, just have- yeah, and also this is a useful ability. Alright, we don't need to query them. Now, challenge another arena player and see how your deck holds up. And because I don't want to get distracted by shiny things, I'll turn the uh, golden animations off. Okay, um, I think I got slightly lower buckets. It's hard to say, because I don't really have much of a baseline to go off of. But I think it's a really cool Reno deck with um, all one of us except Desert Spear, which is a strong card. Let's roll. Rexa versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Throw back expensive <laughs> cards so you can draw them later. So true. Yeah, my Reno's active. Alright, well, I can count to four. You're That's a good sign. So you get the coin. Use it wisely.
Now we can count to five. I think in this case, it would be right to skip- yeah, that's a useful battle cry. Let's skip the chase. Hmm, nice card in your deck. Four drop is really strong, and my three drop is strong, and he's played a slow three drop, so it's looking good. What to do? What to do? We're gonna be rich. I think the strength of Reno in this deck isn't that, you know, I don't really have a way to come back in this deck, as this is a hunter deck, and I don't really have any, you know, swing spells other than Unleash the Hounds, so it's just mainly going to heal me, and I can, uh, it lets me use the Desert Spear really aggressively, I guess. I can either play... Well, yeah, of course, this one. Like, do I need to deal... Three damage? No, I only need to deal two damage. Brilliant. Flanking. Faceless. Slow it down. It's on curve. It would be good to heal two things with Ritualist. Do I want to pre-hit? Not really. 3 plus 3 equals 6. But if I pre-hit and put it down to 4, I could play Desert Spear next turn. It seems like my next turn is likely flanking Ritualist. I'll just play this. Pass. Fear my tar creeper, or bog lurker, bog creeper, bog creeper. Oh, that is such a good desert spear target. Only I can get through. I can get through. This is awesome. Oh, what a turn. Disgust. Fill your three drop with one charge of my three charge weapon. What a turn. Look 
Trade the 2 3 in, maybe. And then Desert Spear. I think I play the Basilisk uh, when I'm favored on the board. Hey! I got you, friend! I think I send. Well, maybe I just go face. And beast. Let's stone skin basilisk. That's the. Oh, crawler. Stupid crawler, get out of here. Okay, so. Do I trade into the 3 6? No, I think I can get a lot of damage in right now. I like doing damage. I think I play crawler and then I play a tamer, so I copy the basilisk, which is a good card. There's no need to clear his minions. I hate to overextend against a card like Flame Strike, though. Do I really worry about Flame Strike? That's so much damage. It's mm -hmm. nine damage. Yeah, we want to hit the face. Easy. I think there's an overarching theory of, I was going to say like an overarching theory of don't worry about flame strike, it's only one card, but it just depends, is the answer. It depends. Rexa versus Valera. Watch your Let's the, the one thing I definitely have to keep in mind with this deck is I shouldn't be afraid to play Reno Jackson because if I fall behind on the board, I'm not going to take it back with this deck, usually. So it is basically a 6 mana 4 6 with just like very minor benefits. But it was, the minor enough, the minor benefits are perhaps enough to play it. I really hope the rogue plays a pirate on turn 1, that'd be nice. Is, uh, is Swashburglar in this set? Let's see. So close to being Swashburglar.
This is a... These cards came a little bit too early. Trail. I just need to draw perfectly the next three turns. Three drop, four drop, five drop. And then we're set. Reality. Oof, these cards. Skip turn three and four, that can't be good. The opponent skipped turn four. Mm. It, good to get this bad draw to the way against this early opponent. I don't think they have a great deck or plan. by Mimic Pod. Guess what that means? Is one of the cards in their hand. I want to Grievous Bite this card. But that is a 2 mana spell that's a 6 play. And let's play card 2, I suppose. Hmm, hate to let it hit my... Hmm. Maybe the right play is Wasteland Assassin. I can take the damage because I have Reno, but it's not active right now. Very awkward draw. Do not want to let those uh, one health guys get value while I have a Grievous Bite in hand. Place to hide. I'm bound to draw a Desert Spear or Unleash the Hounds or something to take advantage of my one health healing. And of course Grievous Bite. I can just punch the Bone Wraith and then Grievous Bite the 2-5 I guess. Not great, but the thing. Bug Collector. Bug Collector Grievous Spite. That's not great. Amani Warbear. I can take the damage again. Probably. And then play uh, this and that next turn. 5 7 punch. 4 2 into the 2 1. That'd be terrible. Ugh. Plays are so bad. Mana efficiency is sick. I hate these plays. But what can you do? What an annoying bone ray. I really need a, uh... 
you know, four or five there. I wonder. I need my hand not to deal all these big cards. And so I played one of the big cards. I like the curve on this deck so much, I just happened to not draw any threes or fours. I hadn't realized this, but Grievous Bite is so much better with all these Reborn cards. Still an Arena Rookie. Alright, Grievous Bite's gonna be pretty solid here. And if I draw a Desert Spear, that Reno Jackson's actually gonna be Valley of the Skin. Gotcha. Jolly. Gary Ooze. We need a way to quickly deal with that card. I have some ways to do that in this deck. Please trade, please! Come in! Do it! Ah! Oh. Play big guy. Oh, no taunt. Does it matter that I don't have taunt? Not really right now. Intruder. Such a scary situation, only caused by... What the? What are you doing? Get them up against the newer player. So if I play quicksand elemental, I can uh, trade against Nightblade, I suppose. That is, uh, you know, if he doesn't take down Cartoon Defender, which he should have, but chose not to. So that's good for me, also. Right, I got a good turn here. Quicksand, punch, baited arrow, that. It's all coming together now. Hmm. Actually. I hate to do the 8 8 into the 6 4, but it's necessary. I hate not killing this, also. Yeah, we gotta kill the 5 too, though. Away, 
Intruder! I hadn't thought about getting the free one damage, so that's kind of nice. So many options. <laughs> Toot's giving me six health, so while I'm pretty low, it's not as good as it looks. Good place to hide. Eight, eleven, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. Twenty-two. Fourteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. They just killed themselves at the anime. Oh, dude. So I have it. Three into that, five, eight, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. I'm still one off. Silly ooze. You are the silliest ooze. Maybe that means my best line is to trade a bunch. <sighs> my arena. Who's a beast, by the way? It didn't work. So many options. A place to hide. Saved by the hatchling. Saved. Not saved. We're gonna be rich. I'm getting this uh, played win rate so much higher. Versus Anduin. The 
light shall bring victory. Let the hunt begin. I've got two mana through two. That's good enough to keep. It's like it's a shame to not use it to its full extent, but good enough. I might coin out Basilisk. I'll probably coin out Basilisk. Ooh, if I coin out Basilisk and follow it up with Quicksand Elemental, that might allow Basilisk to cheat another attack. Oh, cheat out Wild or play Wild Tamer, get a uh, Basilisk. That's pretty good. Or an Amani War Beast, I guess. Easy, I'm honestly not sure which one I would have preferred. It's close. But it's good both ways. So good. If I play Quicksand Elemental, I get to keep a 4-1. That's pretty good against Priest. But there's the uh, there's the Theory of Curve. And I am a subscriber to the Theory of Curve. Hmm. Yeah. And then the question is face or not. And if I go face, you could buff this and I'd be very sad. So I'll, I'll trade in this case. That was a tough one. It's a, uh, that turn really depended on if you're a subscriber to the Theory of Curve, because I could have a 4-1 and a 3-2, but instead I have a Stoneskin Basilisk. Embrace the void. But hey, I kind of like having a Stoneskin Basilisk on this turn. Let's... No! Play another stone skin basilisk. And it appears the opponent will just throw their value cards into it, so why not? mana draw a basilisk. Ooh, look at that value. No divine shield loss. I don't think plus one health actually matters on one health minions. And then this one has the Vengeance. So let me just summon more guys. Look what I found. I'm like everyone's biggest fan. Hmm. 
plus one health doesn't matter on these. And I'm just gonna play Faceless Lurker in the face. Yeah, that's fine. Basilisks don't care about how much your minions have gotten buffed. Basilisks don't care, yo. In my radius. Hmm. Basculus deals ten damage. That's pretty good. At last, a worthy fool. I think I'll take it. I'll take this 5 4 also. This guy's like, poisonous? That's cheating! You know, it can't, so the... Not only are the initial games, of course, easier because it's a, uh, you know, only a two wins, but I'm in the newbie pool. That said, there's also a bunch of other competitors playing right now, but... We dodged them in the first two games, that's pretty sweet. Or I could say, good strategy. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee! Rexa versus Thrall for Doomhammer. Let the hunt begin. I want to keep a three mana three four in my opening hand. Let's see. Better cards. Well, better slash. It's one of my best three drops, but. Perhaps better cards. Ramkahan Wild Tamer, Basilisk, Tar Creeper, Desert Spear, Desert Spear. Um, Quicksand, Neferset, Kalaka, Bug, Hatchling. 10 cards better. 20 cards worse. 18 cards worse because I can't get these. 
Nice to get a three drop. I'll keep. Totem. That's usually followed up by Flame Tongue Totem, but that is no longer possible after, I don't know, the year 2018, I think. Desert Spear plus Dread Corsair. I don't have to play Desert Spear right now. In fact, it's a bad play. I should develop the board. Don't pick. You might miss it. I see your play! Your deck is a totem deck! Brilliant! Oh, Splitting Axe, Dread Corsair, Clump. Oh, that's actually a Wait, that is... Eh, that's a combo. I wonder... So, probably play it as a 5 play? I'm actually... Mm, yeah, yeah. Don't want to use the charge. If I play this, it costs one less per attack of your weapon. I don't have... Next turn I'm playing Tundra right now, so it's not like I'm playing Drick right now. I'll just equip this. Yeah, that's a good turn. Not a great turn, but that's a turn. Hey, too slow. One mana is too much for Dread Corsair this turn. Yes, kill the two two instead of the three two. Brilliant. wonder if he's playing. I wonder if he's doing that for a specific reason. Of course not. I'm gonna try to get Veli out of Ramkahin. Wild Tamer. Charging Locust. Veli? I hunt alone. I'm playing Tempo Reno next turn. Arena's full. Beat it. Me no crazy. You crazy. Cute. Hey, too 
slow. No quarter. I come to low. I hunt alone. Darn, I did do it wrong. I took one more damage than I needed to. Wait, no, I didn't. No, yes, I did. Wait, damage doesn't matter. I'm playing Tempo Arena. Eh, yeah, maybe not. Ah, eh, yes, I am. Imagine the splitting axe, double healing totem combo. You could have four healing totems. That's incredible. Card that's sadly not a beast. This is what League of Explorers. In today's day, it would not only be a beast, it'd probably have something extra. Squash him! Back in our day. Our 8 mana 8-8s eight only had taunt if we met a condition. Tamer, get me the valley. Easy there. Oof, so good. How much? I hunt alone. I have to take a moment to think about Shaman's AoE. Let me look it up. One moment. I basically have to decide to play with Tar Creeper or not. Depends on what Shaman AoE is in this set. Okay, so we're in Volcano. And Murloc Land. I'll just pass. One attack isn't going to do anything. No, 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 no. Actual charging war bear. Very scary.
Back in my day, Jeweled Scarab could discover Hex. versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Let the hunt begin. I have to imagine that percent ritualist is such a beast arena card. I feel bad playing it on turn 2, but you shouldn't feel bad about playing a 2 minute 2-3 two, on turn 2. Back in my day... This board was fascinating. I was about to say, uh-oh, we got an opponent who knows what they're doing. They're trading their 2-1 and the hero power into my 2-3. But no. <laughs> no. Oof, the, uh... New player camp bonus for Arena is real. Oh my god! <laughs> Basilisk! I'm afraid you've been cut down by the mighty desert spear. That's against the rules. I must safeguard the land. Wow, you got my taunt! Oh no. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee.
I hunt alone. I like to imagine that I'm blowing this in you guys' mind like he hit my guy for one damage? What a newbie! Your magic shall not save you. Ugh, this guy hates taunt. Loves going faith. I think I'm not gonna play Trickster to give him an out. Are we that far ahead? We're pretty far ahead. And yeah, Desert Spear hit the face. 2-1, 1-1 to 4-3. Loss? Ultra? Yes. Is there anything in my deck if I gave him that I'd be sad about? Oh, I guess I won though. Uh, the answer to the first question was no. Got the active Reno. But again, I'm not trying to get the healing value out of it. But it's good to know I can go crazy with the Desert Spear. Hit those Magma Ragers with the Desert Spear. It's all good. <laughs> Imagine a three mana two one. You know. It's actually not a bad play sometimes. It's a tempo play. There's conceivably a hand the priest can hold that that play makes sense. Let the pain speak to me. Hmm. Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. I have so few spells that I should know what that is. I have Unleash in my hand, I have er, my deck, Flanking Strike, Bitted Arrow. That's a shame. My uh, cards in deck. 
spells in deck. They're not a lot, so I just have three really good ones. Uh, let's just play the Faceless Lurker here. Try to limit that draw to one. In case he got hounds, I'll not hit here. As long as it keeps out arrows. So I can think a bit on what um, card he took because, I mean, he would have played certain spells there, I think. Baited Arrow would have been a decent card to play. Flanking Strike. Baited, I, I could see him not playing any of them on that turn. It's so impossible that it's unleashed, I don't want to create one more 1-1. One, one. You probed me! I'm scared. Magic shall not save. Right, time for the Wind Fury charge plus attack man. Or do I have lethal? 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12. Uh. It's a darn. Uh-oh. We might queue up against the competitor here. New players generally don't go 6 and now. Actually, I should wait longer because then the game MMR matches me against the wider range. And that's good because it'd probably match me down. Rexa versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Yeah, it's a two drop, a three drop, and a four drop. I'm not restoring any health, so I don't want to keep a four mana four four. Even though it's on curve. Now that card, that's a good card. When I actually think about it, maybe I should have kept the 4-mana four 4-4. Four four. There's 
Not that many cards on 4 that I could have played that are better than a 4-4. Four four. This is definitely one of them. Flanking Strike and Tomb Spider are also good ones. But in the grand scheme of things, I probably shouldn't have kept it. Because there were only two cards that were better. Yeah, I should have kept it. But I got lucky. Feels good. This desert spear is carrying the arena really hard. If I roll need, <laughs> Cursed Disciple is so good against Warlock. The dream I trickster him, I get a beast, and then I copy the beast of the Wild Tamer. Desert Sphere value, though. So real. Get my uh, discount Dread Corsair on. Blood. I'm pretty sure I said this when I reviewed Fossilized Devil Floor. Back in the day, we did do Trump reviews, League of Explorers. And I remember saying, really? They couldn't have made this a beast at the very least? Uh, looking at these cards. Fond memories. Ooh. That's a good one. I actually should play this first because the nightmare is I get a beast from him. And then it copies that instead. Uh, my deck is useless, unless he gets Reno Jackson, but then it's probably not active. Don't blink. You might miss your door. This card, your highest card, wow. Add two copies of it. Woo! More Amani War Bears. Possibly. Oh, a little bit late to the uh, desert spear destruction. Imagine just missing spear number one and being too early for spear number two. New card! Oh, 
on. So many possibilities. I don't need any of you. So fitting that Desert Spear will win the game for me in the finale. No, not yet. Oh, so sad if expired merchant gets silenced. I just tossed fossilized del- Oh my! That's the ultimate value! Wow. That's disgusting. Is it is killed for 6 and 5. 11. That's at 214. That's 16 stats for 2 mana. That's really good. I just like imagining he busts out Reno Jackson, created by Drakari Trickster. No, don't. It's still good. The stuff of nightmares. Thank you for subbing, Nox, Azur, R.I. Stassi, thanks for gifting us having the Saber Blade, Snafusaurus, R.I. Stassi, Marsha, you are probably on your flight right now. Have a good one. Uh, let's see. No, I was just waiting for uh, Adwakta to queue.
Alexa versus Valera. Watch your. I'm really, really. I'm. Uh, I'm running really good. Haven't run into any patrons yet. Uh, sounds like Basilisk. Not great against Rogue. Get myself my star card, Desert Spear. Can actually curve Desert Spear into Dread Course there. <sighs> A little Dread Course there. Oh, I got a Galactic Crawler. Almost. Crap, we're up against opponents who use their weapon to kill my guys, man. This could be a tough one. I was thinking if he removes this, then he can. But that's fine. Because then I can hit the worgen and then use the rush to finish off the damage. Hey, I got you, friend. It's kind of a pain. Obviously, that's a must kill now. That grievous bite. One, two. I can send all the hounds at the top. That's not a good play. Fight. Positioning. Uh, my next turn play is probably Desert Spear. So that means I think I should hit the Tar Creeper. That would bring it down to four, and then I could kill it next turn. Uh, sure. That's. Yeah, I mean, I gotta do the damage somehow. That's an aggressive use of the spear, but I know with this deck, I need to have the board, otherwise I lose. I have the only... I'm behind... I have the only... I'm... I have the only it's good one behind card in my deck. Unleash the Hounds. I think that's literally the only good card that's good when behind. Yep. Everything else I like playing when I'm even or ahead. Am I willing to give for board control? Everything. Mm, punch ahead of time? Yeah. Star Creeper has been a beast. Put this apple on your head. Another soul What a pain. I need to get through one, six, seven health. Unleash four, eight, nine. So I can kill the. Okay, I think I might be okay after this turn. Maybe. Easy there. Oh no! Is there a way to. No, 
there a way to do that better? No. Yes. Could have unleashed the last. Wow, Reno Jackson would be actually really good. Different from the other times. <sighs> Our home Sands. Do not have to kill that right now. I can play Stormwind Champion next year and kill it in one shot. That's probably better. Alright, pass. Are we gonna be rich? Nope, we are awfully poor. If I get taunt, is that enough? Six, three, six, two, five, seven, eight. What if I get taunt and plus three health? Hmm. Might be enough. If I get a beast, that would be useful here? Can't think of any. Four mana beasts which deal two damage to everything. Does that exist? No. Well played. Well played. Well fought. I can see. Versus Valera. Watch your back. Let the hunt begin. Oh, here we go up against the patron. Eek. Turn three creeper and a turn four shroom brewer. Argued with myself on should I keep a four mana four four in this deck? And the answer is yes, because my four drops aren't that good, pretty much. I only have three that are better. Hmm. I'll let you soon.
I don't need any of you. I can play Shroom Brewer as basically a 4-6. Or I can play Droid Corsair as a 3-3. Three, three. Wait, why am I thinking? Don't get dated by Dread Corsair. Previous bite's pretty solid. Right here. Faceless Lurker is also pretty solid. We want to protect the 4 4 from the 3 5. The 4 2 from the 3 5. Theory of Curve. The 2 1 isn't great to uh, bait a Darrow. I don't just have to kill the juggler before killing the candle guy. But yet, I want to do it in the other order <laughs> because of the grievous bite thing. Oh, yeah, that's such good. But what I can do is. Okay, let me think. Punch three. What if I quicksand elemental here? Is that any good? That's really good here. That's really good. I have to kill this first because the bite needs to be the one. I'll break you. Wait. Yes, that's fine. Yeah, fine. I'll break you. Cool. Nice little hunter swipe there. Big seven play? What's on seven? Storm Watcher. I'll show you what's on seven. I have to decide if I want well of course I'm gonna trade. And then I have to think about do I want do I wanna carry the four one or the three two over? Because I can trade either one. Probably want to not give him the option to use his weapon. Yeah. I, I think the 3 2 is better than the 4 1, but it's close. Because my cards are safe under all this taunt. It's actually really close. What's better, a 3 2 or a 4 1? Also, I should have played around Betrayal. Actually, I did play around Betrayal. Whatever. That's playing around Betrayal, trading the uh, 4 instead of the 3. It's a little bit of a tiebreaker. Massive, but nothing that a desert spear can't bring down. Ooh, that's a good card. It even manages to bite for one more, so I can uh, successfully baited it. This one one is a five five. Nice. 
Rexa versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Bring it on. Nice to curve, vermin patron. Time to get to these bosses, the patrons at the end. What are the chances I hit a pirate? I wonder. What are the pirates? I get good use of my 1 1 rush, but he gets good use of his weapon. If I play the crawler, he might trade them both. That's still a good use of his weapon. Handle shot is really good here. But we will just RNG a card for both sides. Nice, no turn three play. RNG a good card for both players. Easy there. Oh, oh. You hate to see that. Yeah, it should be good tempo. That's a two. And then I can heal after. No, no need to heal yet. The dream is that he got Dread Corsair, and then I play it and eat his guy, but that's silly. I'm gonna surround my damaged guy in the middle because that's the uh, Neferset Ritualist positioning. I wonder. Pretty decently ahead on tempo here. Hunters don't have that many catch up cards. Hard to double sword is a good card. I 
I'll play around explosive and um, grievous bite. Uh, in both cases, I want the weak minion in the middle. Oh wow! Maybe he copied the web weaver. That's a good card to war bear. The dream is the ritualist of value here. Use a 3 3, gets damaged. Ritualist both. The dream value. Pack. Hmm. That's explosive trap. The uh. Channel will be so good. Looking good. Um, I really should shoot him. I think I need the enchanter with that. Uh, I'm just not playing anything. And there could be value. Oh, this, is this really less good than shooting him? I should just shoot him. Two damage versus, yeah. That's good enough. Save that for utility. Crushing Walls is in the set. I mean, uh. But I also have to, whatever. Vroom, vroom.
Bum, 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 bum. Rexa versus Lazul. A Lazul player. They're bound to be good, right? Let the hunt begin. Welcome. Care to hear your fortune? Greetings, Greetings traveler. Let's curse. <laughs> What is that card? Can you imagine that some people, when I reviewed this card as one star, and that's that review, were like, I don't know, that's a neutral lifesteal card. Imagine Vile Fiend. I'll, I'll give you a chance. I'll play my uh, four mana three three. Don't worry. I've got a huge Grievous bite it. I can choose to do nothing and just play on curve. And quicksand elemental. Keep a three one on the board. Good because I have a three with it. Theory of curve still holds. Okay. All right, I'm counting on an insane card. I'm tricking him. A place to hide. Grievous Bite's gonna be able to deal with that reborn. It's gonna be really good. Ooh, Stormwind, that's really good. What a tasty Grievous Bite there. Very yummy. Do I want to kill the 3 5? There's no reason to. Don't give them an out. Oh, the synergy! We cheated a permanent extra health out of that. So I really do not want this to get mind stolen, controlled. Uh, do I hedge? No, I should just go for the W. Fury. Ah, perfect. Volcano Sword is pretty good with the can't be targeted by spells or hero. <laughs> Powers adapt.
want to weave the hero power each turn, I believe. But I really want to play a money war. Eh, do I want to? What if I play a money war bear in hero power? No, it's desert spears better. There. Again, I hate to get mind controlled. But what can you do? Five, six, seven, eight, ten. One damage? Okay. Ah, pop quiz time. What does Rafam have? The uh, deal ten damage for ten? Is it ten? Is it eight? It's eight or ten. Doesn't really matter. Does it matter? Uh, it does matter if I play Basilisk. It doesn't really matter because either one gets it. But it doesn't matter because if he plays a 10, then I win. So, therefore, don't play around the 10. I hunt alone. Uh, plus big, big, plus uh, summon a bunch of guys. Yeah, none of those would work. That's not a valid target. Oh my god, the Reno nightmare. <laughs> what do the cards say? Was your destined. destined. Versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. I'm like thinking, is this a card? Is this a hand I would have kept? I think the answer is yes. Yeah, it's a not a great hand, but it's a good hand. Just turned into. Uh, did that get better? Got a little bit better. This was a good three play, but having the option is really good. Keeps getting better and better with uh, better options presented. Look at that desert spear, it's gonna slay. 
Although, yeah. Block a crawler for this is also not a bad deal. And then I can use a desert spear to clear this. But probably better to hold the desert. Or... I would definitely, yeah, this is fine. Wait a second. No, that's, wait a second. I can save the locust if I do this right. I hadn't expected to be able to get so many attacks in with a uh, quicksand elementals effect, so that was really good. And then I was thinking about it would be nice to clear both of those, but it's also good to, you know, just create one once. That was cool. Surprise. Don't blink. You might miss it. Nice card. My spear. Punch beta arrow. Pretty solid. Unlocker? No, punch beta arrow has got to be best. 5 2 is a really good target. Even a hero power. Minor benefit. I 
wonder. Be my eight mana, eight eight coming up. That is something to be feared, though. I've got them fairly low, so we can start just steady shotting them down, which is always nice. Ah, great. <laughs> Too much tempo. People criticize me about that uh, quick sand elemental play, but it's like I'm new to Marina. Quick sand elemental isn't really played that often. You know, you want to make all the attacks, and then I was like considering, wait, do I want to kill the reborn stuff? What order should I do it in? Obviously, the turn I play the quick sand elemental is all the stuff that I should be attacking with the weak guys. So it's like, yeah, there are a lot of things to think about. It, even though I was clearly going to play it, I think I did it right. I did not do a strictly worse play. Rexa versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Okay, coin wild tamer and the basilisk is pretty solid. See a basilisk, copy a basilisk. Time runs out on me. Hmm. Nice. That boar is really good against the basilisk. Reno might actually be useful against this guy. That's an aggressive open. Ugh. Fine, I guess. Eh. Like, I don't really want Basilisk against a boar, I suppose. I'm not actually sure which one was the better one to copy. This might be better. It'll be slow tempo if he fire blasts this. Hate to play Basilisk against the 1 2 though. But slow tempo turn for him.
How is that bug a 1 1? Bugs are scary. What it's on a green. My immersion. Charging Beta Dara. That's pretty sweet. That was oddly no hesitation for what was a potentially tough play. Okay, let me think about this one. I can punch it with the Desert Spear and Baited Arrow. I'm frozen, but I get a 2-2 two -two and a 6-6. Six -six. It seems to be the best line. Other lines involve healing my Stormwind Champ. And then, like, I could play Glacial Shard on that thing. I think this line's best. Could also have rushed this guy and then healed this guy. Maybe that would have been better. But that's one of the best targets to hit with the uh, baited arrow. But the plus, but the locust is not always a two-two. It's it's close, I think. He's close play. But looking forward to bringing home the first 12 win for the team. Take a screenshot. 